neighborhood that's been struck by a tornado. I just want to say our thoughts and prayers are with those who have sustained injuries and loss of property and certainly with our family and the Sand Springs area that had a loss of life and we, we hope and pray that there is no other loss of life um, in our state. Uh, Mayor Lewis and to the fire chief, the police chief, Superintendent Romines, and certainly all of our legislators represented here today, our first responders, our various charities that are here. It's, it's hard to believe that two years later we're back at a more public school surveying damage. I am very thankful that the school did not receive this damage during school hours, that it happened at uh, night when people were in their homes or in different places, but we're, we're thankful that no children uh, received any injuries at this particular site. I want to just say that I've already declared a state of emergency in 25 counties across the state, which will allow the state of Oklahoma to be able to begin the process of accessing our, our damage and looking at it and seeing if we qualify for any federal assistance and also will allow us to speed up the state services in, in our state. I um, want to just add that uh, we're very proud of the utilities that have worked so hard. Utility companies work so hard to get the power back on. We had substantial power losses all across the state of Oklahoma. We're also still looking at assessing the damage across Moore and across Yukon other areas of the state, especially around the Tulsa area, has received damage to see what's occurred and working with our insurance commissioner and, and our other charities. I'm proud that the superintendents already began a plan to be able to shift classroom services to a local church in this area, and he'll talk more about that in just a few moments. Uh, we've been down this road before. We know what to do. And I'm just very grateful that we have so many people that worked so hard over the night to make sure that people were safe, uh, to make sure they weren't injured, and then to certainly make sure that we keep our roads and, and highways uh, blocked off from power lines that, that were down and make sure that the traveling public was also safe. So I also want to thank the Oklahoma Highway Patrol, the Office of Emergency Management, and Albert Ashwood and his team, the Director Ashwood had the Office of Emergency Management operating all last night and had it going and coordinating services statewide because we had so many storms that came through the state of Oklahoma.